Boy, talk about a statement for the Arizona Wildcats to open up this great three-game conference lid lifter. Nine to nothing on top of ASU. They scored a bunch of runs. We'll explain how. But really, it was all centered around the efforts of Devin Nets. She kind of had a bend but don't break because she only had a clean first and a clean fifth. There were base runners on. But opposing hitters, meaning ASU hitters, were just one of 12 with runners on base. She threw strikes 69% of the time, and when it was all said and done, it was her 15th complete game. It was her seventh career shutout, a career that sees this ace in the circle, 26 wins and 11 losses. She was incredible. Now, for a team, and you can see all those runs that leads in on base percentage in the conference, 453, they did it again. They reached 16 times. It was 10 hits. It was five walks. They were hit by a pitch. Blaze Behringer was great. Ali Skaggs, the home run machine from a year ago, was really strong. They were patient when they needed to. Mac Osborne picks up the loss. McKenna Harper, number 55 on that jersey. The left fielder was outstanding for ASU, but it was a dominating effort tonight for the Arizona Wildcats. Game two Saturday, we'll have it for you. Five o'clock Mountain in this beautiful ballpark, four o'clock Pacific. My name's Darren Sutton. Thanks for stopping by for the update.